and uh, if uh, if Fairy are watching, if they'd like to sponsor this advert, um, feel free. There's, uh, there seems to be one in in the shot. Um, so yeah, basically what we're going to do is instead of going wide angle, I'm actually going to I'll sort it in a minute. But basically we're going to set up that sort of shot there, focused on to the tap itself. Something like that. There we go. Um, and then catch some drip, drips and drops. I could shoot wide open, but I'd have to be very close at 20, so if I was at 24 millimeters, I'd have to be very close. So what I'll probably actually do is actually move the camera back and shoot at 600 millimeters from a good distance just to drop the background out nicely because at the moment even at f4 it's still quite obvious where you know what it is the tiles and everything so i'm going to take the camera back all right guys so what i've done here is actually realized that i'd actually knocked the limit uh, focus switch so it'd be it was only limiting me to um three meters and an infinity so it wouldn't focus any closer which was a bit annoying anyway must have worked that out that was fine so what i've done here is we've got it at 100 frames a second in full HD. So that's just dripping, dripping now. So what I'll do is just let this run for a few seconds and then I can actually show you what that looks like. And then what I'm gonna do is 250, 500, and 1,000 frames a second. And you'll be able to see the difference in, in, in quality. Um, it's very usable. You do have to do a little tweak with the thousand frames a second because it's not HD anymore. It's it's dropping up to five hundred. It's not HD, but the quality is still quite good. But a thousand frames a second, it's dropped down to I think around about DVD quality, the old DVD quality that we don't use anymore. Um, but it's still, you know, a little little sharp in here and a little bit of that. It's it still looks actually okay. And on a hundred inch projection screen, it's still actually quite impressive. Um, to look at, so it's still it's not an an unusable image, which is which is good. All right, guys, I'm back. So at 250 frames per second, it's still moving quite quickly, and at 500 frames per second, you can see it's slowing down. You can actually see a bit more clearly the the water droplets a bit more individually, and at 1,000 frames a second, even more noticeable. I can then actually because. The more frames you've got, it actually allows you to slow the footage down even more. So I've literally just halved it. So basically, now it's even slower, but it's still pretty smooth. There's the more frames you're shooting, the less light is going to be going into the image. So the the brighter the lights you've got to allow, you know, decent lighting and still a decent quality image is is quite important. Um, but as you can see here, I've changed the view and uh, the angle and that's still 1000 frames a second there the i just put a little plastic cap on and uh, just it bounced around on top which is quite cool look it looks like jelly um but uh, yeah and then a two pound coin just drop it into the, into the water there and that is 1000 frames a second at half speed so it just shows you it's still very smooth and like, i don't know if you can see the quality is it's still very good as long as you light it really well so, yeah, anyway, guys, that's it for now. Cheers.